Hey everyone, Aaron C. back with another pickup video for you guys. Um, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. This is after Christmas, so a belated Merry Christmas. But I hope everyone had a, a very blessed uh, holiday season. Um, I want to wish everybody a uh, Happy New Year. Hopefully this will be up before New Year's. We'll see how it goes. Um, just to uh, kind of give you a heads up, uh, a little bit of a new format I want to test out. I'm going to do all my pickup videos. It's going to be separate videos, not as much as before. Uh, where I don't have like a thousand videos um, of one pickup. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a... Um, a video for just the game pickups, um, and then also a video for uh, my comic books and my DVD purchases and toys or whatever else that I pick up uh, that's not gaming related. I know a lot of you guys uh, may or may not want to watch that in one video, um, so I'm going to separate those. And if you like the gaming part, you've got that. If you like the, the other geeky stuff that I collect, it's there too. If not, then you know you can watch them both um, if you want to. So uh, just a little bit of a uh, kind of a mix up to kind of see uh, see how that goes a little bit. Um, before I get started, this will be a little bit of a longer video. I apologize. Um, I wanted to kind of thank some people. I've uh, had a really good um, last couple of months when it comes to views and stuff. So I want to thank the people and the subscribers. So I want to thank a lot of them, uh, a lot of you guys for subscribing. Um, as far as non-gamer um, type things, um, I want to thank David Sturgill, Daisy Chain 69 and uh, Geo Gobble for subscribing to my channel. Uh, they do have their own channels on YouTube, so go check them out. I'll have them linked in the, in the comments there. Um, these are non-gamer stuff, so a lot of times you'll just see what they view. Um, I know Daisy Chain 69 um, actually does some family stuff that's pretty funny at times, so um, I'll, I'll link to her. Um, I also want to thank uh, Abate Alde, one of my very dearest friends by my own uh, namesake. Uh, uh, his name's Aaron also, so uh, he just subscribed, I think, like yesterday, so I really appreciate that, Aaron, and that uh, means the world to me for you to, to subscribe, and I subscribed you back, and uh, he does a lot of cool videos also as well, so um, I'll link to him as well. Um, Silver Ricochet, um, a lot of music stuff that he does. He was one of the first ones to to subscribe to me. So um, some of the non-gamer ones, you can just go to my channel and see who I subscribe to, um, and uh, and do it that way. Um, but I want to thank you guys um, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, as far as gaming, um, I have uh, two uh, gaming centric ones that have, and I'm very excited to have them um, subscribing. Uh, Gamers Digest podcast. Um, I haven't checked out their podcast yet. Um, they've done a great playthrough of Tomb Raider Revelations, I think was the one. Oh, I'm sorry, Tomb Raider, uh, Tomb Raider Legends uh, that I just got done watching the last one for. Um, and also they have a podcast. They do some news and stuff also. Um, so I want to thank those guys um, for um, uh, for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, um, I'm a subscriber to their channel. Got to help them out. Um, they're, they're new to this too, um, just like I am. So I'm very happy that they subscribe to me. And I'm going to help them out as much as I can. Um, but the big one I really want to thank is, uh, is Scott. Um, his uh, YouTube channel is JHMDF. Um, I just want to uh, thank him. He's very popular with the gaming community, um, so I want to thank him for subscribing to me. He was one of the first ones to jump on and subscribe, um, so I really, really appreciate it. I've been watching him for a long time. Um, him and Joey, his buddy Joey, they do the game, uh, uh, video game sellers, um, which they go to their local flea market and show their pickups while they're there, and then also um, they also... Uh, sell stuff, um, and I know video game sales, um, you know, resellers have a, a little bit of a, of a negative connotation. These guys are great. Um, they love their customers. They like the interaction with the flea market crowd. You meet a lot of really cool characters um, in, in, in that in that setting. Uh, going to a lot of flea markets myself, I could just imagine being there and trying to sell stuff um, and, and meeting so many different and, and uh, different people there. But they're very fair with their prices. You know, they go out, they don't try to gouge anybody. Um, that's how video game sellers should be. Uh, you know, you make a little money, no, no problem about that at all, uh, but you got to do it fair, and I think they do a great job, and I, and I enjoy watching their stuff. He also has got a lot of uh, uh, horror stuff, he's really into horror movies, um, so he does a lot of stuff there, he does a lot of pickup videos, just started one for uh, role, uh, RPGs and um, uh, shoot 'em ups um, so very cool, I, I watched the first one for the RPG, and, and, and I'm really kind of getting back into the ones I missed out on, a lot of Final Fantasy VII and Mega Man Legends when I was a kid, so I played those all, pretty much over and over. Um, but I was trying to get back in, and it's very uh, educational. It's very, you know, kind of letting you know, hey, you know, these are a little bit more expensive. These are, if you're looking to get them, great games are a good price. So, um, Scott, I really appreciate it, man. Um, love your videos. Keep up the great work. And uh, I just want to thank all those guys. I have one more I want to touch on my comic book one because it more blends in with that. Um, actually, two more because it's more of non gaming stuff. Uh, but uh, I want to touch on those two. Uh, but I'll thank them here. Cindy Kalinsky, I'll talk about her a little bit in the other video. She's an author, uh, an independent author. Um, love, love her to death. Um, she, she's a great friend of mine. And also the Death Wells, uh, my brother's band. Um, I'll, I'll link to them in the other video as well. 
um, sing bluesy kind of dirty rock and roll, which I really enjoy. And uh, they've been putting their uh, concerts up on uh, on YouTube themselves, so they have their own channel, uh, along with some other independent bands uh, that they link to. So. Um, just, uh, just a couple things. Thank you guys again. I mean, it's been great so far through YouTube. Um, again, I apologize for the length of the video, but I uh, uh, just want to kind of throw that out there. I'm going to try to do that. Everyone that subscribed, I'm going to try to thank and, and uh, appreciate everyone that has given their time to watch my uh, my geeky finds. Um, as far as a video, as far as an update on what this channel is going to be, I want to do some playthrough videos once I get a better computer. I don't have a great one right now, so I can edit and make it look good. Um, there's some other things I've got kind of rolling around. Um, I've talked to some guys about maybe starting some things, some things up. So um, I'm gonna try to take this as far as it can. Right now, it's just gonna be pickup videos because that's all I got right now. Um, being able to do in one take and be able to put it up in a, in a decent amount of time. So, uh, but uh, I appreciate it and uh, expect some bigger things in 2013 from this channel, not just pickup videos. So hopefully, I can try to try to do some other things. Me and my brother Joe's talking about doing some things also. So um, again, thank you to all you guys uh, for. Uh, for your support and your watching. Thank you to all the ones that maybe don't have a YouTube channel that's been watching. I got 50 views on my uh, on the last uh, video and all of them was within 40, I believe. So I really appreciate um, everything that uh, uh, you guys have done. So <clears throat> some big shout outs to Jared and Travis, um, two of my best friends uh, out there. Uh, Lee, Colin, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Nick, thank you. Uh, Nick and Nicholas, there's two of them. Uh, they'll know which one uh, they are. So um, thank you guys uh, also. Um, thank you, Jess. Uh, Jesse, thank you for, for watching and, and, and leaving some comments on, on a couple videos. So I really appreciate it. Please leave comments. If you don't like what I'm doing, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, tell me that you that you like it. So um, just need some feedback. So we'll jump into the pickups. Um, this, again, this is just gamer-related pickups. There'll be another video with comics and whatnot on it. So uh, we're going to we'll jump right into this. Um, as far as where I got these, me and Joe, there is a... Um, a lot of these came from G2K, and I'll kind of clarify which ones went, went where. Um, we also went to, I live about an hour and 50 minutes outside of Bristol, Virginia, where the big race happens. Uh, they do a big NASCAR race twice a year. And uh, there's a, a, a really good flea market there. A lot of resellers, but sometimes you can, you kind of be prepared. The first time I went, I probably paid, overpaid for some stuff. Um, but I, I, could, I was able to haggle, so I knew I could haggle a little bit. Much like uh, Frank on American Pickers, um... I like to bundle, and this is a place where you have to bundle. If um, you're not going to get, if they have a game for 15 bucks, you're probably not going to haggle. If you get a bunch of stuff, you'll probably get a better price um, overall for uh, some more stuff. So you, you got to kind of, looks like get, uh, Jay from the uh, the Game Chasers do. So I had to do a lot of bundling, and I think I got some pretty good deals um, here or there. So um, we'll kind of kind of go with that. Um, so we'll, we'll jump into it. Um, we'll start out with uh, Nintendo. Uh, we'll start out with uh, the NES. Um, one of the vendors at the flea market, uh, he was new there. I didn't see him the last time I was there. So, uh, basically, he had to, he had a couple deals there. Um, he was selling some stuff on commission. Um, so I ended up getting one of his games uh, for a little bit lower price than what he had it. And a little bit lower price than, like, Rarity got. So that was that was pretty good. It's a good game. So, um, But I, the, the games that I got from him for the NES was uh, this one. He also had one where if you bought two $5 games, you got one for free. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and I, I bought so much, he was like, I just go ahead and get one for free. So I ended up getting a, a Gyromot. I've been on a um, kind of a black label kick lately. I'm um, sorry about the glare. I got the window open. Give it a little bit better lot um, in here. Um, but a uh, very cool game. Um, this is the one I got. He had it for 10 but I ended up getting it for, for 5 uh, This is Wolverine. Pretty good platformer. I know it gets a little bit of a flack online. It's always like, oh, staying for a It's just a tough NES platformer. Um, you know, it, it, it makes you yell, it makes you cry, makes you throw stuff, um, makes you rage quit, but it's still a very cool game. Uh, one thing I really liked about it when I played this on emulation that you could pop his claws in and out. Now, it does kind of go away, so I guess his claws wear out. I don't know. Um, continuity wise they can't do that uh -huh. um, but <laughs> uh, but yeah it's pretty cool I got to like level 4 you're kind of facing a saber tooth um, which is supposed to be like a uh, kind of surprise when you see it but it's right there on the front it says uh, an X-Men Mega Battle versus Arch Nemesis saber tooth so kind of give that away but cool, pretty cool game glad I got it in my clay I'm a big Wolverine fan so um, got these from G2K um, all these from G2K I got this one in the Johnson City Tennessee location I got Slalom 
Um, got these at uh, the Norton location, um, Urban Champion, and Hogan's Alley. Um, now these two, I'm very stoked to have in my uh, in my collection. The first one is Kirby's Adventure. Got this for like I think eight bucks, but I get a little bit of a discount there, so about ten percent discount. So I got it for a little bit less than, than eight bucks. Um, and then also, I'm a big Mega Man fan, so I was, I was extremely uh, excited to get this. Um, I have two, three, and four. Apparently five is ridiculous right now, so I'm going to have to try to wait and kind of see if I can find a deal on that. But I got this for $15. Bucks. Um, I picked up the dog bone control in the last video, and that kind of completed my top loader. Well, this truly completes the top loader because this actually was the game that came with it. Mega Man 6 um, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, so I'm extremely excited. I've never played this. Um, I was always playing Sega Genesis when this came out, so... Um, Really excited to have this, and uh, was uh, about. I didn't have the money; I was getting paid the next day. So, I, I luck, luckily, it was still up there when I when I went up the next day, and I got a pretty good price on it. So, um, next up is for the Super Nintendo. Uh, before I drop them. Um, these two, these three, actually, I got. I bundled together. Basically, the same guy I was talking about with the. Uh, with the Wolverine game, these are the two of these were the ones off commission. One of them I got for five bucks, and I'll kind of tell which one it is. Uh, but he was a really nice guy. I ended up getting his card, so we're gonna we'll definitely kind of keep up with him and see what he's got from time to time. Um, the first one I've heard it pronounced Wise. Uh, Pete Door pronounced it Yeez. Um, I think uh, there's a couple other ones that pronounce it like that. So I got um, Yeez Wanderer or uh, Yeez Three Wanderer from Yeez. I've never played these, and, and and they look like a really cool series. So. Do I need to, so leave in the comments if you play, do I need to play one and two before I play three and kind of get into this? I know it's more of an action role playing game. Um, so please leave some comments. I've never played this, so I need to know if I need to kind of look for one and two first and this is a continuing story, or it's kind of like um, Final Fantasy where each chapter is kind of its own, own story. So, And with any of these games, if you like them, if you don't like them, leave comments. Um, so we can kind of talk about it and I'll answer you there. Um, Next one is I have the first one I have Act Razor. Um, this is the, that one I got for I think twelve for Yeez. Um, but again, he started coming down on some stuff because I got some stuff. I basically got six games for I think like five bucks or five bucks a piece. Um, Act Razor two. Some say the first one's better, but I've heard good things about that also. Then uh, the last one I got from him was Drakeen. So I got three role playing games. Got this for about five bucks. Never played those, but I'm on a big Super Nintendo RPG kick. Um, the next two, um, this one right here I got for five bucks. He had it listed for ten. The GameCube game I got, I bundled and got them both for fifteen, which I was pretty pretty stoked about. Um, Alien Three for the Super Nintendo. Big fan of the Alien Three movie. Um, I like Alien Alien Three. I don't like Aliens. Uh, <laughs> me and my friend, uh, me and my best friend Jerry goes back and forth. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Aliens, but that's another another rant for another time. Um, but I'm a big David Fincher fan, so that may be why I like Alien Three so much. Um, the next one with the best beat em ups ever and one of the best superhero games that's never really mentioned very much for the Super Nintendo, Batman Returns. A very fun beat em up, very awesome um, superhero game that you know doesn't get mentioned very often. There's, there's great games out there besides Arkham Asylum, but that's probably the best one ever um, when it comes to superheroes for right now anyway. But there's some pretty good ones on the NES and whatnot. Um, the next, uh, and also for the GameCube, I got Complete um, Star Fox Assault. This is the one I bundled with uh, Aliens 3, as you can see, complete with the manual and the disc. So this is more of my, uh, when I first got a GameCube, which I don't have one now, I'm trying to trying to get one for a good price, looking for a black one. Um, uh, this one right here is actually uh, more vehicle based, so I really like this one a lot better. The first one was, I think, uh, Star Fox Adventures I ever played for GameCube when it comes to Star Fox. Um, they didn't really like that one that much, so I thought it was going to be more of a vehicle based one but it really wasn't so I'm more disappointed with that one. Um, the next pickups are for the Sega Genesis um, or I'm sorry Sega in general. Um, the first one is uh, Rocket Knights and Night Adventures. Um, I got this one, I bundled this and one more of the Dreamcast and also um, Batman and got all for like I think like 15 bucks or something like that. Um, so Rocket Knight Adventures doesn't come with a manual, uh, pretty good shape, the uh, box is in great shape, um, and then the, the disc or the card is in pretty good shape as well. Um, I remember seeing the, this in ads for a lot of my Marvel comics and never getting a chance to play it because it was always out at my local uh, rental place. Um, so uh, just really excited to have this in my collection and when I get a hold of Genesis I'll uh, definitely get 
definitely do a play for that. Uh, the next one I got at the same place, um, Choo Choo Rocket. This was on Racket Boys, um, or whoever did. I don't know if it was Racket Boy or somebody that did articles for him, but it was, um, or for the site. Uh, this said it was a great puzzle game. It was one of the hidden gems on the um, Dreamcast, along with one of the better multiplayer ones on there. Um, so I was very excited when I saw, saw this. I think I got it for like a dollar or something like that. Um, almost, I mean, this was great. Manual comes with it complete. I uh, played it. Very cool puzzle game. If you're into puzzle games like Tetris or Dr. Mario or even some of the ones like on the DS and stuff, um, definitely uh, recommend this if you can get a hold of Dreamcast. I don't know if they've re released it on any other, like re released it for like an arcade um, or uh, the, the PlayStation Network or anything like that, or if it's on any compilations for that matter. Um, but very cool game. You gotta think. Um, on level 10, I'm kind of stuck. So uh, definitely take a if you like puzzle games. Very cool game. And finally, I picked this up for about 15 bucks. Probably paid a little bit more for it. Um, when it comes to disc-based games, I usually buy them from G2K because you don't really find them very much in very good condition at flea markets, whether they're a game seller or not. There was a couple uh, rare PlayStation games that was good prices, but they were, you know, the disc was flopping around on the inside. The cases were, you know, nowhere near what they should be for selling them for what they are. Um, so I picked this one up, uh, great condition, looks like it's hardly ever been played. Um, it's all obviously obviously been resealed, uh, but it's uh, Marvel vs. Capcom for the Dreamcast. Um, Dreamcast is a fighter machine, I mean it was the first one that really um, was bringing over great ports of, of, of arcade, um, of arcades, uh, popular arcade fighters, so um, very cool. I'm a big Marvel fan, I love, I love the Marvel vs. Capcom series, so I was very excited to get that. Um, the next ones are for the Sony PlayStation. Um, was, well, this one's for PlayStation 2. I got Devil May Cry 2 for the PlayStation 2. A little rib, kind of ribbed on the front there uh, when it comes, but I got it for like five bucks and it's complete. Um, got both discs with it, so um, I was very excited to get this. I have one. Um, I'm going to start playing these through. I, I know they can be really difficult at times, but. And with the new one coming out, I would like to play the old ones before I pick that one up because the new one looks amazing. Um, so, very stoked. Uh, this one right here, I don't get a lot of Christmas presents, uh, <laughs> to be quite honest, when it comes to being in my 20s. Uh, we have a really big family, so when you're just a kid, you got pretty much anything from them. But to help out with the adults, what we do, we usually just draw one name, and then whoever you get, that's who you get a gift for, and vice versa. Um, so, uh, my one point, Brynn, which uh, uh, is, is just a hoot, she's really funny. Um, she gave me two presents. I'm thinking, I told everybody I want money. Um, it helps me pay bills. I can get the games that I want and whatnot. And uh, she uh, she gave me two boxes. I'm thinking, oh crap, she didn't she didn't get the memo that I needed, <laughs> I needed some cash. And uh, one of them was like a, a flashlight for the car, which I really needed. And then the uh, uh, which I don't know if she knew I needed, it, but I did. Um, and then the last one was uh, was just a box I opened up. She had got me fifty ones, uh, which was really funny. I had a a, a good little laugh about. And of course, the joke started rolling uh, about uh, certain establishments that uh, you take a lot of ones to. So we have the same sense of humor. Me and her and my brother have a, a, a kind of a quirky sense of humor, and we all just we just goof up. We get strange looks from the other family members at times <laughs> because of what we laugh at. But um, <clears throat> but it was very funny. And so I was up at G2K, the Norton, Virginia location, and um, I've been looking for this game Black Label for a long time. But I keep finding it at flea markets. Like I said, I don't like buying disc base. Unless it's just a really rare game, and I'll take a take a risk on it. Um, this was perfect. I mean, it was just such a, a great copy of this. It almost looked like they bought it from Walmart, circa '96 or '97, whenever it came out. Um, this is a Final Fantasy VII Black Label. Um, big fan. Like I said before, when it comes to role playing games, all I really played was Bang Man Legend and Final Fantasy VII for a very, very long time. Um, and I kind of got out of it, but such a clean copy. It still, um, still had the underground. Um, I guess advertisement in it. Uh, so I was very excited to see that when I opened it. The discs are unbelievably clean. Um, they was having a sale, twenty five percent off, uh, two days after Christmas, and also um, with the big with the big blue discount card, um, you got another ten percent off. So I got thirty five percent off of it. They had it listed for forty. I've seen it black label before, and they had it listed I think for twenty five or thirty. So I knew this one had to be a really good copy. It just got in today, um, so I picked it up. Um, I had the money to do it, and I got it for about 28 bucks, which is a pretty good deal for such a clean copy. Um, the discs look like they've been played like once. Um, I mean, it has been, it was just, 
a great find um, and definitely worth the money. I don't really like to pay that much for my retro games. Just like I said, I like to kind of hunt for the bargains, but I know it worked from those guys and it was just such a clean copy. I was very excited to have it. So um, that's my pickups, I guess, for, I guess, December, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Majority came from December, so probably in the November. Uh, but uh, like I said, a little bit newer format. I'm just going to start doing gaming, the game pickup videos and then the, the other geeky stuff related stuff. Um, also, um, leave comments um, if you haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe. I think you can even subscribe if you don't have um, a YouTube account. Um, you can add, the, the subscription kind of works a little bit. They'll email you when when I put a new video up. And then also um, like the video. Even if you don't have a um, a channel, you can like the video or log in for YouTube. You can like the video. The more likes I get, the more views I get, the more my videos are going to be seen. Um, again, I think. Thank you all that have subscribed, all of, all of you guys that have watched, um, left comments, whatever. I really appreciate the support. And like I said, I'm going to start doing some different stuff with this channel and maybe away from this channel as well. Um, um, I'm just kind of in a creative mood. And uh, I used to write for a newspaper, used to do a lot of this stuff. So um, I had some great teachers and didn't really want to do what everybody else told me to do. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try to do my own thing a little bit. Um, so we'll see see how that goes. But please check out the channels. I'm going to link to um, uh, a lot of the ones with the content that I think would, a lot of people would like to watch. Um, thank you guys again for subscribing and watching. And uh, um, see you later. Thanks again.